Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of GIS Answers. Please subscribe to the channel if you like these videos. Today what I'll be showing is how to share a layer in ArcGIS Pro to ArcGIS Online. What I've been uh, showing last time was how to create a shapefile. This shapefile resides locally on the C drive of the computer. We want to publish this layer to ArcGIS Online. And the way you do that is through Share Web Layer. Publish Web Layer. Fill out the name, a bit of a summary, and put in some tags. Obviously, you wouldn't put test, test, test. You'd put something that might be more useful. And in this case, it's a point file with some data attached to it. And we want it to be interactive. So in this case, we want it to be a feature rather than a tile or a ve vector tile. We want it to be interactive and we want to use it as a layer within a map in ArcGIS Online. And you can verify by, by analyzing it to make sure it's going to be okay. And then you would publish. Now, there's some other options down below. One of them is publish to groups or publish to everybody. So if you publish to everybody, that will be available to everybody in ArcGIS Online, the entire world. So if you don't want to publish some, a layer to everybody, then I would suggest publishing it to a particular group that you've set up in ArcGIS Online. So once you've published this and it's completed, this layer will be available in ArcGIS Online, which is available through ArcGIS.com. And then you would look at the content tab and then this will be the most recent layer available because you had just published it now let's say you're working on the shapefile and you do more edits so you want to update that file that you've just published you can go overwrite And so you would again republish publish over that layer. Okay. So you could so that's if you're working on this shapefile that's that resides locally on your computer. Another option is once you've published that layer to ArcGIS Online, you can edit. You can edit that layer in the cloud in ArcGIS Online. So then you, you have two options. And then you wouldn't have to overwrite web layer. You would have that live web layer in the cloud to edit. There wouldn't be a shapefile anymore. Hopefully you find this useful and understandable. Um, hopefully I explained it uh, well enough. Uh, if so, please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again. Thank you.